Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and today I will be reviewing Axel Hecklau's Linking Ring Masterclass. Before I do this review, can you please like and subscribe? Check out onlinemagic.co, that's my online magic course, resource, compendium, that's not the right word, huge library of, uh, of videos and live sessions every week. And next week we've got Luch coming, if you're watching this in real time. Uh, Luch mentalism uh, lecture next week, live and uploaded on the course forevermore for your membership. So check it out, onlinemagic.co. Thousands of magicians have worked intensely on the linking rings. It is a classic, and for good reasons. Visually, linking two solid rings of steel, it's a very strong effect. But if you eliminate the noise, less is more. But that alone is not enough. The linking rings can only develop their full impact if you use all of their advantages and combine them correctly. A deliberately planned routine with a clear structure and a sensible dramaturgy is just as important as the purely mechanical moves. Um, so th this has been a real commitment for me. I'm not saying that in a, in a, in a way to big myself up at all. Um, it's a total choice. I, when Axel told me he was doing a masterclass on Lincoln Rings, I was excited because he'd already recorded this in German and he said he was coming out with the English version. And I've got a history of the Lincoln Rings. First of all, I love it. I love Lincoln Rings. I love classics. I love multiplying balls, all that stuff. And a lot of you that watch the show will know that. But I've always been fascinated with it. Even the little ones, and I know he, Axel said he's not so keen on the small ones, but when I first saw Shooter Gower do his Ninja Ring retail, I just thought it was so magical. Where everything went out of my head, the idea of it being weird um, apparatus and things like that. I didn't care. It just looks lovely, looks beautiful. That's all I cared about, and I wanted to learn it. And I did, and performed it a lot. Uh, before that, I had performed Whit Hayden's comedy uh, Lincoln Ring routine, Pop Hayden, uh, which I remember getting a manuscript for on the cruise ship, went on the cruise ship. Didn't have enough material, so I learned it and performed it. Did it terribly, but still got really good reactions. Uh, I remember learning the one from Davenport's, which was this kind of really involved, loads of different shapes you can make with the rings and trying to learn it out of the book. This was before the internet. That's, that's how long ago it was. Uh, really struggling with it. Well, kind of before the internet. But, um, and, and just it being this complex thing and really unintuitive, and I couldn't get my head around it way back. And... So, because I'm a, a massive fan of Axel Heckler, every single thing he's put out that I've seen, I, didn't, I just love it. I, th I think he's a great thinker. It, he's known for creating amazing props, amazing routines, taking classics and changing them, which is what he's done here. Now, when I say changing them, as he says, the first half of this, and this is a three and a half hour download or stream, uh, the first half of this is his classic routine, and that is incorporating his silent linking, which is a really important part of this. Actually, I would say, well, I was going to say the most important part, but actually, arguably not. Um, his silent linking ring, which is his kind of development of the linking rings, and mixing it with a classic routine, which did actually remind me of the, the Roy Davenport one that I did with the different shapes and all the different things you can do with them. And what he's done is he's taken the two, melded them together into this beautiful routine. Uh, he's been doing the, the Lincoln Ring for over 40 years. It's got a lovely uh, bit of footage from 1980 when he's performing the first ever bit of footage he's got doing magic. And it's got a whole performance of him in 1999 performing it for his grandfather's 90th birthday and then an up-to-date performance which is in the, um, I think the Palace of Wonder, uh, Salon of Wonder, well, my apologies, of course, Salon of Wonder in Berlin which is his theatre. And that's the show that he analyzes. So he takes this, this routine, he says it mixes, the first act is the sort of classic stuff, and then he's got his whole silent bit, and then he's, he's got the, the multi, the seven ring routine, which is what this whole thing is, and then he analyzes the whole thing. The first download is the analysis of it, 
the drama of it, why he's chosen to do things, why he structured it into three acts, why a prologue and three acts. All these learnings are incredible. And then he breaks down the moves and the technique and, and teaches you this thing all the way through with the idea that you take it and do the bits that you want from it. And the second download is the all his silent Lincoln Ring stuff, which is his kind of work on it. So he says it's not, you know, the routine is classic, it's not his, um, but his bit's the silent bit. So I decided to really go for it with this one. And because I, I remember why I started this channel, and that was to keep me learning. And the temptation is with a three and a half hour download or stream is to, to go, right, I'm gonna watch it through and then talk about it. I didn't wanna do that, I wanted to learn everything from it, and I did. And it's taken me weeks of practice. I'm not saying I've mastered it. You'll see bits of footage on here, which are nowhere near as good as what he does. But the, the important point is it's not hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. It's hours and hours. So that's the difference. So I think a lot of this stuff, well, all of it is is within the ability of nearly everybody. So the idea that they are not um, everyday objects, he covers this in the in the pros and cons of this. He said, yes, there are so many pros. There are so many reasons why he would perform this, that how magical they are, how how relatable they are, because they are it, it's a routine that makes complete sense. You know, you, metal is passing through metal. That's the routine, and you're just doing stuff with that to make it entertaining and beautiful. So this idea of them not being ever it's fine, I think. People recognise them as magicians' props and they they have an idea of how it's done, but with the different moves and subtleties, you cancel all that out and you create a piece of theatre and a piece of magic that is wonderful. I think, stop overthinking it, take these out and you'll, you'll understand what I mean. And for someone who's performed different versions of, the, of this, I, I kind of have a little bit, tiny bit of, of, of uh, experience to, to be able to tell you that. Other things are that you're gonna learn an awful lot about magic with this. This learning, just on disc one, and I've done both, I keep saying disc, that's showing me age, isn't it? On download one, I've done both of these and learned, learned all of it, but, or I'm learning all of it. But I learned so much, because he tells you why everything works. And this is interesting with the Lincoln Rings, because it can be so confusing, you're sort of making these shapes, but he breaks it down in a way that you understand why he would do it in that way, where you would look in that way, where, why you would do a body movement rather than just a hand movement. Uh, how you can make something that is potentially unmagical look very magical just with some little subtleties, just with some looks, just with some wrist movements, just with knowing where you're going to be facing when you do that part of the movement. That's the stuff that I think is transferable to so much of magic. And going, and, and I would say I've really enjoyed the learning process of learning that classic routine of just learning it and then getting some music on and going through the moves and, and really getting a firm foundation and knowledge of the Lincoln Rings, which is what I've got from this. Then I got onto the Silent Ring stuff, which is in Download 2, which I just thought was so magical. Now, I knew it was going to be good, but there are so many moves. And as he says, you don't want to do all of them. It's not like you want to hold to, you know, 15 minute routine on silent routines, because there's a reason why he's put it in the middle. He's got the, the audible stuff, the classic links, and then he's got the silent bit. And then that's that sort of juxtaposes, juxtaposes, that juxtap, look, that, I'm trying to think of a less pretentious word, but you know what I mean? How that, that contrasts with then going into the classic stuff after that. So he says, you know, don't overdo it, less is more, all of that stuff, which he talks about at length. But the moves are just, you do them and you kind of fool yourself. I've, I've videoed myself doing this and I, a couple of the moves, I'm not even doing that well, but because of all the little subtleties, they just look really good. And when you do them, you think, I'm not going to get away with it. And then you watch them back and you go, right, that's great. And he's got all the classic links, of course, as well. But, you know, just off the top of my head, the Isaac Newton, when he does this drop, is just... So, I looked at him do it, and I kind of had an idea, and then I was wrong, because I looked at him and I said, oh, he's got me with this. I can't do it. I can't uh, suss it out. Um, he's got this throw link, which seems really difficult, which is called um, Catch Me If You Can, which is just, you know, it feels so good when you do it. Um, this silent cl crash link, which is his favourite, which, again, you, you, you burn this stuff and you can't see it. It's utterly beautiful, and I, and I think it's one of the best things I've seen in a long time and the best learning experiences I've had in a long time. I've spent hours with this, and I'm still loving every minute of it. 
And the reason I've liked it, if you look at the conditions of flow, which is a state you get into when you're in practice, which we'll all know about, where you'll just, you forget about what time it is and everything else loses meaning, you're just doing the thing for the sake of doing it. With this, it's not too difficult that you lose hope you can see that instant feedback that and that's what flow needs you need to see that you're getting better at it and i think with this stuff it, there's none of it's really really difficult it's all doable and you see that that um uh, improvement quite quickly and i think that's what the, we, we, for me it's yes it's an amazing routine that i want to do but part of the joy of this is just doing it for the sake of doing it learning it and yes to be able to show people will be great and i showed my partner the other day some of the real kind of classic shapes and she was like that's really cool and i'd kind of forgotten how cool they were because i've been doing it for so long so i think to the learning from it the teaching's brilliant the, the knowledge that you'll gain of for, to transfer that knowledge to different aspects of magic and learn something really unique really cool and it is unique it's a classic but it's unique because not that many people are doing it now and i think this has its place way more than a lot of magic i think we are totally wrong with this idea that the classics and I know I've banged on about this before aren't as relevant if you take this onto a stage and do it well and you can see that him do it well you'll understand it you might not do all of it you might not do all the classic stuff but I think that it's it's a really incredible piece of work this and I think it's a tragedy that a lot of people are going to look at it and go it's Lincoln Rings I don't want to learn that I really recommend you get it I really recommend you get a set of you know cheapo rings don't get really expensive ones and and enhance your magic and become a better magician which is exactly what it's done for me now once you've learned everything you start being able to put the moves together in ways that aren't on the the, the download and i think that's what i'm starting to gain an understanding and that's that real lovely moment for me when you go i really understand this now i'm really really getting it he goes over all the other stuff as well like some wonderful displays of of the key ring holding the the magic ring if you see what if you see what i mean uh, ways of displaying them that aren't just what you'd think and this says a lot about this download by the way you know when you're when you're taking this ring you can yeah you can display it like that and and take it back like that but he does it in a way that that is totally different so he will take it and put it down here and then bring it up here because it looks so much more natural than kind of placing something in a certain way. And, and, and that says a lot. He's taken something. I nearly didn't watch that bit when he's talking about, you know, displaying uh, the key ring because I thought, well, I know all this. But every single thing had this fit. Well, actually, if you do it this way, it looks a little bit more convincing and, and will, will flow more. So he's taken all those classic things in, and kind of made them a little bit better as well. And I suppose the only... And for sake of balance, if I was to say anything negative about this, um, the, the version I saw, and I think the version you get, you get a PDF of all the links, is on Vimeo. I found it quite difficult to highlight tiny little bits. I find this with a lot of streaming and downloading that I want to be able to go back frame by frame sometimes, and I couldn't do it. I was clicking on and There might be a way of doing it, I don't know. But I was clicking on a bit, and I couldn't get to the bit, so I had to re-watch the whole thing. It was, I really, that's why I like DVDs, because you can scan back and forward. Um, and, and I'm not, you, put, you might be able to download this and not stream it, I'm not sure, but uh, that's that bit, but it's, it's really not a deal breaker at all. I know this is a bit rambling and it's a bit gushy, but I, I genuinely have, um, I've had a great time with this and I, and I think you should know about that. So do use the links below. Do, of course, I always check out all of, say check out all of Axel's stuff. I think it's all brilliant. Um, but this is affordable. Yes, you might look at the price and go, well, it's streaming. But for 60 euros, I think it is, or maybe it's 60 dollars. I don't know. I think it's a, it's a bargain for what you're going to get from it. You know, if you think about certain tricks you can buy for that. And yes, of course, you're going to have to get the rings. But highly, highly recommended. Uh, so thanks very much. Thank you to Axel for for that and the experience I've had from it and the learning. And sending it to me, of course, uh, any questions you've got, do put them in the comments below. I will be answering these on Thursday evenings at 5 UK time. At time of recording, that might change um, of the comments on comments shows. So check them out and come and hang out live. And do, of course, check out onlinemagic.co, where I'll be adding loads of non-card stuff, a lot of card stuff on at the moment, um, including Lincoln Rings at some point. And I'll hopefully we'll get Axel in too for a lecture there as well. Uh, and like and subscribe. So thanks very much. Have a great one. Cheers.